Hi guys! Today I'm using some of the latest Kelly Stamps release to create a title page for my December Not Quite Daily album. So I've got a 6x8 protector here, it's one of the um, 2x2 grid protectors and these two stamp sets, the Dear Santa and No Peaking stamp set and I am going to create my title page. So the first thing I'm doing is I've picked out a few um, sequins and wood veneers and whatnot to pick my colour scheme for this title page. And I'm going to start by using the um, Outline December stamp to create a repeat pattern just on a scrap piece of um, 4x6 card. So I'm going to speed this up considerably for you so you don't have to sit through the entirety of my stamping. And I'm just using um, a neon pink Hero Arts ink. I'm not filling up the entire card because all I'm trying to do is get a few 2x2 two two cards out of this. And then I'm using a much, much lighter pink just to randomly fill in some of the Decembers with the solid stamp. So I'm not doing all of them, I'm literally just, um, yeah, just randomly picking a few throughout that card. And now that that's done, I can just use my trimmer. This card's got rounded corners, so I'm just trimming that off and then trimming it down so I end up with four little 2x2 two two cards. And that is my first pattern done. Now I'm going to create a second pattern with one of the other stamps that says the most wonderful time of the year. And I'm just prepping this 4x6 card with my powder tool and then I'm going to stamp this again just in a repeat pattern up the card in a Versamark ink. So you can't see that, that makes really boring watching so you can just be assured that I've stamped the whole card. And then I'm using some blue Perfect Pearls just to um, spread over that. So now you can see my stamping. And when I've brushed all of those perfect pearls off, you can see it's got the most beautiful metallic blue shine. And then I'm doing the exact same thing, just tr trimming those down into four little two by two squares. The last thing I'm going to stamp out is I'm going to use a few of these little icons. I love the wee Christmas tree and I'm going to stamp them and then die cut them onto circles. Well, this is how I started off. First I stamped onto the card and then um, die cut the wee circle with my diamond press cutting tool. But then I got smarter and since the tool was out I decided I would cut all these little circles first. I'm only going to need three but I cut four just in case there's an incident when I'm stamping. And then I'm going to continue stamping these little icons. So over both those stamp sets there are a few of these little Christmas themed icons. They're just so cute. So I'm going to do a tree, a candy cane, there's a little, um, little piece of holly and a little globe light. But I don't end up using the globe light. I think I'm just going to pick those three. And I'm going to do some super basic colouring just with some coloured pencils. Like, I mean super basic colouring. I'm literally just colouring in the stamps so the only um, slight difference I do is I am using two different kinds of green for the um, Christmas tree just to add a tiny bit of interest. And that's my three little things. So now I can go ahead and I'm sort of going to start arranging them onto my page protector. And although I cut four of these patterns I think I'm only going to end up using three of each. Then I've got the three little circles that I've cut. I'm going to use one pocket for my bits and pieces that I've collected from my stash. Although they're not all going to fit in there so I'm only going to use the sequins and the wood veneer. And then the other two spaces I'm going to use some gold letter stickers just to put the year on there. So I can start adding some of these bits in. The um, pattern papers are just going in as is so they're okay just to slip into the pockets. And then I'm going to slip in my sequins and wood veneer, which was slightly trickier than I had anticipated. And then my numbers, I've got these gold Kaisercraft um, number stickers. So I'm just sticking them onto the outside of the page protector, just putting 2017, making sure I've got the spacing right. And then I'm going to use my sewing machine to shut the pocket with the sequins and also just stitch down those um, numbers just to make sure they don't come off at any point because they are on the outside of the page protector. 
And now these little circles, they just look a tiny bit lost there. Um, so what I decided to do is I'm going to back them with um, some little two by two squares of vellum, just to um, make them slightly different from the other clear pockets. So I'm just using a tiny bit of double-sided tape to stick those on. So when it comes time to fill in the back of my page protector, um, I'll just do something with little circles and I can stick them onto the back of the um, vellum pieces as well. And that is my very simple title page for my not quite daily December album. These stamps are really gorgeous. Go and check them out before they sell out because I know they will sell out really quickly. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.